SMT Nation, we back. Nation, this is an interesting story. Verizon kind of snaps back at T-Mobile over phone unlocking policies uh, that T-Mobile is trying to leverage in its whole, like, acquisition of another prepaid brand, which we know very intimately. <laughs> Anyways, this is an interesting story. Let's present the news and see what this is all about. All right, link for the article will be in the description. And also in the description, the real SMT Buy me a coffee link. Want to support your favorite creators? That's one way to do it. There are others. They're all in the description. And don't forget, if you're looking for a really good deal on wireless service, you can't beat the offers from our partner, Mint Mobile. Use our partner link, mintmobile.com uh, forward slash need. Take advantage of all their great deals. You'll get their legendary customer care, and you'll be supporting the channel. All right, so let's take a look at this story here. Indications are in T-Mobile trying to acquire Kainya Corporation, with the whole like mint ultra mobile properties and all that uh t-mobile brings forth the argument about verizon's handset unlocking policies now i find this interesting because t-mobile traditionally does you know like a two-year phone lock policy you know for the arrangement that you have as you pay installments when you finance devices i think also i think you have to wait a certain number of days even after you've paid it off i think you can only do two unlocks a year or something like so t-mobile's got like a i don't know they've got an interesting unlocking policy but you know of course verizon they have to have their phones unlocked uh this goes back to the 700 megahertz spectrum that they got way back when this is like a decade ago maybe longer i don't even remember uh but they weren't allowed to lock phones and they actually kind of worked around that they filed for a certain specific type of approval from the FCC to start locking devices for 60 days, uh, citing the impact of theft and fraudulent activities. Uh, but I, I find it kind of interesting that T-Mobile's bring that up in the uh, and the whole like track phone thing because what Verizon did when they acquired track phone is they basically adopted all Verizon policies. Like previously, I think track phone's unlocking policy was either either six months or a year locked. And then when Verizon took over track phone and acquired them, they moved to the 60 day unlock policy where you don't even have to have the phone paid off with Verizon or track phone 60 days on the network consecutive. Boom. It unlocks automatically. So industry wise, Verizon does have the best phone unlock policy. Uh, you know, AT&T and T-Mobile, it's for the duration of the phone's installments until you pay it off. And then you have, I don't even know if it unlocks automatically. It might, I don't know. Uh, but you might have to call in. There's only a certain number of unlocks you could do per year. I know there's some exceptions like military and all these other things, but you know, and sometimes you can call and convince them. But I, this just seems kind of odd that this is kind of the story here, uh, why they would bring, you know, attention to this. I mean, T-Mobile's got a 180-day un unlock policy for Metro. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. This is uh, very peculiar and unusual. Maybe they're trying to say to regulators, you know, oh, you, you guys were so easy on Verizon with track phone, you know, take it easy on us or something. I don't, <laughs> I have no idea, but, uh, I'm not going to comment or speculate too much only because I, I don't know what regulators are thinking. I have no clue what they think about this whole thing. Uh, track phone was a huge acquisition folks. I mean, that was like 20 million prepaid customers. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's why, maybe that's why T-Mobile brought up. I have no clue. Maybe you guys have some good ideas. Maybe you have some commentary you want to throw our way. Let's let's discuss it and see if we could think of kind of what is going on here and what their thought process was. Love to hear what you guys have to say on this. Uh, let's go ahead and hashtag this for all the real ones watching all the way through. Let's do hashtag T-Mobile, hashtag Verizon, hashtag Mint. We could also hashtag track phone. Why not? And uh, all the real ones know, man. Drop me a comment. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.